I'm Lance Milne. I'm here on my family vineyard at Nangelock. My family have been farming in the area for four generations, a bit over a hundred years. My great-grandparents were Croftsters who left Scotland to travel to New Zealand where they established a number of farms from the wilderness. My grandfather came across to Australia, was attracted to this area, and when Mervine was opened up, he developed farms there and his parents came across to, from New Zealand to join him. My father developed the first property here in Nangelock Calignan from the ground up. So when I had the opportunity to do the same, I took it and developed this vineyard. Uh, it's in, the, in our blood, I think, for the Milnes to be turning bare land into uh, productive uh, horticulture. Our, our properties in the Nangelock Calignan area here are special to us. The first one my father developed up from bare ground uh, with our assistance later in the piece and this one here, the vineyard, is one that I developed from bare ground. An important fact about this property was when we purchased it, it was in a very degraded state, covered in hop bush. The ridges had blowouts in the top of the sand hills. So we purchased a Cat D7 dozer and I spent probably months uh, dozing in and filling in the blowouts, pushing out the hop bush and then when the opportunity come along, we developed it into this vineyard. Yes, it, it, it's part of me. It's, it's my handiwork and my legacy for uh, years to come, I hope. The Nangelock area is a very special area for me. Um, it's on the River Murray, where the river isn't regulated, so it has all the natural beauty of uh, the natural river, the natural parkland, and it has very productive soils. So the addition of irrigation uh, makes it a bit of an oasis for fruit production. The inland irrigated wine grape area provides 80% of the export, the wine that's exported overseas from these areas. This area is really uh, dependent on being able to you know, find markets for its product worldwide. My, my central role is a grape grower or a vigneron, that's where my income comes from. When I established this vineyard, uh, my aim was to grow the highest quality grapes, which uh, shows through in the wines when they get bottled. The workload here on the vineyard, although it's 12 months, the critical period start at bud burst, when the vines shoot. Flowering is a critical period to make a good fruit set, and then it's fairly straightforward through to harvest. At harvest my workload increases substantially because I do all the driving of the harvester. I also have a very strong interest in producing wine at my small winery. It allows me to brand uh, my labour, my product. It's the best I can do in the vineyard and I like to see people judge it against uh, the other wines out in the marketplace. We are now at Chateau Mildura Winery, located five kilometres from the city of Mildura. It is 40 kilometres from my home property at Nangelock Calignan, and one kilometre from Kings Billabong and the pumping plants that the Chafees installed back in the 1880s. I purchased Chateau Mildura in 2002 and set about re-establishing table wine production in the premises. The first vintage was 2005, and from then, until now we've made wine every year. I've always been interested in the history of the region and when Chateau Mildura came onto the market, I saw a wonderful opportunity to be able to buy a very historic building that was related to the founders of Mildura, the Chafee brothers, who established their own winery and vineyard here in 1888, planting 150 acres of wine grapes. One of the wonderful things about Chateau Mildura is how original it is it hasn't been modernised. The buildings, the trusses, everything are in the condition they would have been in when WB Chafee would have been working here, riding his push bike out from Mildura. So it really is uh, a unique experience to be able to come here every day and work here, where it all started in Mildura, the beginnings of irrigation. 
to be the custodian of an important heritage building like this uh, is one that gives you pride but also responsibility. I doubt that it would have uh, stayed as a wine producing venue if I hadn't have purchased it, so I'm proud to have done that. Marrying the traditional methods of producing wine with modern equipment and technologies to produce what I believe is still a handcrafted product, but uh, one that meets all the stringent standards. Making my own wine allows me to label it with my brand and identify it as my own, so it gives you a great sense of pride, um, even though it might not be a Grange Hermitage, to have people come and say it's excellent wine, great value for money, and you know, you know well that's my handiwork. I want Chateau Mildura to be a landmark for wine historians, wine enthusiasts, not only for the quality of the wine they can taste and purchase here, but for the story it tells of Australia's wine history. The original settlers of Mildura were pioneers of the St Razor area. Uh, my forebears are buried in the Pioneers Cemetery at Redcliffs and they were pioneers and that makes you feel attached to a place because it's been pioneered by your family. There are many families in St Rosia who are of these pioneer families and they all love it and don't think there's anywhere else as good as St Rosia to live.